Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about this awesome 2019 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus that we have for sale. One awesome battery electric vehicle. Uh, I'm an owner of one myself. I have a 2019 Standard Range Plus, uh, very similar to this one. Uh, after years of being exposed to the Tesla product, we have a very big prune business at Infinity of Tacoma. We, we deal lots of used Teslas. Uh, after years of driving them and, and experiencing them, they got the better of me and I recently plopped down some money and making a, a monthly payment on one myself. Uh, but I can tell you, once you get exposed to a vehicle like this, it's hard to go back to a regular car. You know, there's smartphones and dumb phones. Well, when you get behind a Model 3, uh, you realize that there are smart cars and dumb cars, and it's hard to go back to a dumb car after experiencing an amazing smart car like this. Uh, they really did an amazing job, and I think Tesla is about five to ten years ahead of uh, everyone else as far as battery technology goes, uh, user interface, software updates. They've been building electric vehicles since the uh, 2008 with the Tesla Roadster, so they have a lot of uh, you know research and development, a lot of uh, experience building vehicles. There's about three million Teslas on the road, and those three million Teslas are still gathering data and helping Tesla improve their products. And uh, just because this is in 2019 doesn't mean it's not going to improve. It's constantly improving. Tesla is a masters of over their updates. They're constantly updating the vehicle and giving it new features. So even though this is a 2019, it's got a lot of updates. Uh, you know, the whole user interface has actually been redesigned and updated since it's come out. And they've added cool features like this. Look at this, you have a blind spot camera. This is a recent add-on. They didn't over their update, didn't cost me or any other Tesla owners of a similar vehicle any extra money. They got an update and now you have a blind spot camera. Likewise, they added a feature uh, where uh, when the light turns green and you're not paying attention, you'll get a little chime letting you know the light turned green. I sometimes miss a very short green arrow on my commute and uh, it's really frustrating to see it turn red just because I looked away for a second or I got distracted. Well, that's not going to happen when you have a vehicle like this. And uh, it's a little bit different. You can see it has a nice clean interior. Uh, it's not cluttered with buttons. It's a very nice, calming environment uh, to be in. I'm almost like in a perpetual state of euphoria when I'm in my Tesla. It's quiet, it's comfortable. I'm not distracted by all this clutter. It's a very clean interior. The majority of the uh, functionality is located in the screen. Uh, so, you know, uh, the steering wheel, the adjusting the mirrors, uh, a lot of the settings, most of the settings is all concentrated in this screen. And the screen's really cool. Look at this. Uh, with premium connectivity, um, it's about 10 bucks a month. It'll give you a 30-day trial. I subscribe to it. Uh, you basically have a cell phone hotspot that allows you to stream data. So you get Google Maps, you can stream music, you can watch Netflix, you can watch YouTube. Uh, so you have these really cool Google Maps. Uh, you can have an illustrated map if you're more comfortable with that. You can use the info, uh, the navigation system to help you find uh, charging. Uh, Tesla has an amazing supercharging network where you can get a full charge in about a half hour to 45 minutes. Uh, there's about 30,000 superchargers uh, throughout the world. The majority of them are in, in the United States. You can pretty much drive anywhere in the United States in this car with Tesla's amazing supercharging network. Like if I wanted to drive to Spokane, I just put you know Spokane, Washington in there and the car will figure it out for me. It'll figure out which you know, chargers I need to go to, how long I need to be at that charger for, and uh, how much charge I'll have when I get back. So I'll uh, charge in Cleolum for 40 minutes. I'll arrive with 22%. Then I'll do another uh, charge. Uh, I changed it, but you, can, you get the gist of it. Uh, so it's not gonna leave you hanging. Uh, you can figure out where you're gonna go. So when fully charged, uh, this has a fully charged range of about uh, 240 to 220 miles. Um, but the thing with daily use is Tesla doesn't recommend you charge your battery to 100% for daily use because this has lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion batteries, they don't like to be charged to 100%. Uh, they degrade a little bit faster. So for daily use, Tesla recommends you charge the uh, battery to about 80, 90%. I do about 85% with mine. You can use it, this slider right here. That will not let the vehicle charge any further than where you set it. You can also do that with your phone. Um, so uh, about 85% uh, charge, you'll have a 183 mile range of driving. 
uh, still pretty decent. Um, I, you know, never have any range issues. Uh, you know, I don't do long road trips, but uh, you know, I commute mine every day. Go to Seattle, go to the airport, and I've never had an issue where I've had to worry about uh, range. This has plenty of range for my needs. Um, obviously, maybe if you drive like more than 100 miles a day, then maybe you might want to think about getting a Model 3 with the longer range battery, which is close to 300 miles. Uh, but for most people, this will do just fine. And the Model 3 rear wheel drive is the most efficient of the uh, Teslas because a lot of the uh, more fancier ones, the more expensive ones, like the Model 3 Long Range now has uh, dual motors, uh, which is great for tracks and acceleration and performance, but having those two electric motors versus one, it's not quite as efficient. Those two electric motors do add weight to the vehicle and they do, uh, you know, suck up electricity a little bit faster, especially if you're doing performance driving. Then we have Autopilot. Autopilot is traffic aware cruise control, which allows you to brake and accelerate in your own lane. Uh, I am so spoiled by Autopilot. It's an amazing system. I use it all the time. In fact, I'm so spoiled by it. If I do have to run errands for the dealership, drive on the highway, I'll either take my car, my Tesla, or one of the dealership's Tesla to use the Autopilot because driving on the highway now is torturous to me without the Autopilot. So it brakes and accelerates in its own lane and it steers. Here's a video of me using autopilot in the back road. There are limitations to autopilot. It's not going to stop for stop signs or uh, red, you know, red lights. It's not going to slow down uh, for, you know, tight corners. So you have to modulate the speed and pay attention. But uh, it's really designed to be used in the highway and that's the key highway or, you know, you know, major uh, roads like four lane roads and stuff like that with gentle curves it's going to be pretty much a godsend for you in stop and go traffic i have a lot of anxiety uh you know i love driving but i like driving on nice you know s roads with beautiful scenery and no other cars around when i'm in stop and go traffic in the rain i'm not a happy camper i'm a little stressed out and you don't realize how much stress it alleviates to have the car take over the workload but when you have the autopilot the car does require to keep your hand in the wheel and pay attention it will give you an alert it can tell when you're not paying attention so it'll tell you hey you know jiggle the wheel a little bit show me you're paying attention uh and it's a great system so a premium connectivity you can stream music um you can also stream video i love uh, watching uh netflix in the car this has a great sound system and it's actually a cinematic experience when you watch Netflix or any of these, you get surround sound like you're in a movie theater. It actually sounds, I'm sad to say it, it sounds better watching a movie on Netflix in my Tesla than it does in my home theater system. I have a decent home theater, but man, you get a really cool surround sound cinematic experience in the car. Uh, my kids love it. My kids wish I could, uh, you know, let Netflix play while I'm driving, but unfortunately they don't let you do that. Okay. Let's keep on going. So much to talk about. So little time. You can also play video games. Then you have the toy box where you can do, you know, the silly thing like the whoopee cushions. And my kids get a uh, kick out of that. It's a multi-track recorder. And with the over-there updates, they're constantly adding stuff like that in. And then another... Uh, Ace in the hole for Tesla is the mobile app. I have not seen a mobile app to the level of detail of Tesla as you can control the vehicle. You basically can use this as your key. I don't need, I just walk up to the car, open it, close the door, walk away from it, it locks automatically. Um, if it's cold out or hot out, I can put the air conditioner on, I can put the heated seats on. Um, I can heat the car up if it's cold. Uh, if someone else is driving the vehicle, I can see where it is. Or sometimes if I don't know where the car is parked, um, like in a big parking lot, I can pull it up and it'll show me where the car's parked. It'll give you charging stats. It'll tell you how much money you're saving on gas. I don't drive a lot. I drive about 20, 30 miles a day. So I save about a hundred a month on gas. Uh, you know, so I pay about 50 bucks a month in electricity. Uh, I was probably paying 150, 200 bucks a month in gas before I got my Tesla. Uh, you can do in-app purchases here. Um, where you can subscribe to services and stuff like that. And then for service and roadside assistance, you do that through the app. In fact, uh, you know, the only way to service your vehicle is to do it through the app. It's very nice. You can uh, chat with the uh, Tesla service, schedule your appointment. It's very seamless. Uh, I have a lot of experience with the Tesla service department over the years, and I am very impressed by their customer service and how seamless it is. They've really done a great job. Man, oh man, so much to talk about, so little time. Really nice color combination. This is gray. This is the upgraded uh, white interior. 
Uh, white can be intimidating, but actually when we got this car, it was pretty dirty and I was actually kind of nervous about uh, how good the interior would clean up. But clearly after coming back from detail, uh, this very stain resistant material uh, did a great job cleaning up. Uh, Tesla does not use real leather in their vehicles. Uh, they use a stain resistant synthetic leather. It feels great. These front seats are some of the most comfortable seats that you'll sit in there. Uh, zero G, extremely comfortable. This one also has the upgraded uh, sport wheels. Very large trunk, even though this is a compact vehicle, it has a lot of storage space because it's not a conventional gas car. There's no gas tank here. Uh, there's no conventional running gear like in a gas car, so it allows for more space. There's even more space down in there. Also a very low center of gravity. Uh, the weight of the batteries is so low, this car is uh, virtually uh, impossible to, to roll over. And if it does roll over, it'll just flop right back on its wheels because of the weight of the batteries. It's actually one of the lowest rollover risks out of any vehicle you can buy. Uh, in fact, the Model 3 is uh, the NHTSA, when they tested the Model 3, it was the safest vehicle that they've ever tested pretty much by every metric. It's the uh, lowest probability of injury in a motor vehicle accident out of any other car on the road. Uh, you know, that's one reason why I bought it. I have two little kids and of course I think it's cool. I like Teslas. I guess it's just another selling point for me. But knowing when I'm in my Tesla with my family, if I get in an accident, we have the best odds of our survivability and the you know the better odds of not getting seriously injured and uh, you know that i'm sure matters for a lot of people uh they didn't do a great job cleaning the front but we'll have to send it back we'll have to uh, send them back to clean up the front but this is more storage and this is also another safety feature you have a crumple zone that's 60 percent larger than a gas car since there's no engine here you have all this space to absorb cross energy in a frontal collision and you know having an engine here can be dangerous because it can get pushed inside the engine compartment in a serious accident where you're not gonna have to worry about that with the frunk so even for though it's a compact vehicle you can see you have plenty of storage uh, performance is amazing, 0 to 60, a little over 5 seconds, top seat, 140 miles an hour. So even though it's one of the most efficient vehicles on the road, uh, it's also amazing performer. There's no gears. Uh, you hit the throttle, this thing just takes right off. It's actually very, very fun to drive. Um, I'm a big fan of the product. I've uh, experienced the Model 3 for years. I now own one. Uh, I love it even more. If you want one of the best vehicles on the road, one of the safest vehicles on the road, look no further than this lovely Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.